Forgive me for my tears, but when I lost my daughter to a custody case, I was just so down and so depressed because I just couldn't believe that a court system could come in and take a good mother who had a good job. I couldn't believe that from an abusive marriage that I had been into. So I called my sister and I said, Elena, I need you to come get JaVale. I said, because I'm not going to make it. And I said, I need a time out to get myself together. She didn't preach to me. She, didn't, she said, I got you. Put him on the plane. I got you. Put him on the plane. <laughs> so I called, my, I called my shooter. That's my sister Elena. The next person I want to thank, and he don't know I'm going to do this. Come on up here, JaVale. <laughs> if you want to play ball, you need a big man in the middle. <laughs> this is my sidekick. You know, um, JaVale has been in my professional career since he was nine months old. I'd have him in a stroller with a nanny. And every time I had to change a coaching job or change a team, I would always say, JaVale, I want to change jobs. And he'd have to change schools, make new friends. So I would always have to negotiate. So he knows everything about the business because I would say, look, this is what they offered. He said, they're giving you benefits. I said, yeah, JaVale, they're giving me benefits. <laughs> They're going to give you a car? Yeah, they're going to give us a car. You know, housing, all that. What kind, what kind of dollars are they talking? I said, he said, yeah, I like that. Then after that, he'll say, okay, now what do I get? <laughs> so I would say, um, I need, he would say, uh, I said, I think I can throw an Xbox and one game. He'll say, all right, I like that. Then he said, but you know what? I think I should get an Xbox and 10% uh, increase on my allowance. And I would say, well, what if I throw in an Xbox and two games? He was like, no, I think it would be better. I'll take the Xbox One game, the 10% increase, and I can buy my own game. <laughs> so I just want to say that many times I know because of our relationship, I don't tell you in public how proud I am of you because you have been just there for me when I went through my breast cancer, when I went through my divorce, Whatever we had to go through, you always just said, Mama, I got you. And you always had my back. And I just want to tell you how proud I am of you, because you're a beast. <laughs> and you my baby. And finally, my, my, my power forward. She's not here today, but I know she's looking down. And as a single mother, raising this man child. There's always somebody in the background. I lost my mother two years ago, and this was her boo. All I had to do was say, Ma, can you take care of Javel? She said, just bring food. <laughs> just bring food. And I celebrate, my, my song is A Praying Mother. I celebrate Diane McGee, a teenage mother who bore twins at the age of 18 who cleaned toilets for $1.25 an hour, who spoke into our lives and, and fought for education for all of her girls, fought for women's basketball when even my father didn't believe that women would get a scholarship. All of her children, she was a single mother that later married my father, who passed at the age of 35. She raised four children. All of us have degrees. Paula has a PhD. My other sister has a master's. And all of her children graduated from college. Because she was a praying mother and she was a statuous woman. And she said, y'all going to play like men on the court, but when you get off the court, you're going to look like women. <laughs> and she put us in charm school, and I appreciate that, that today. So as I pass on this mantle, that we're the first WNBA mom to have a son in the NBA, I put the challenge to my son that we're the first Hall of Famer, that maybe we'll be the first Hall of Famer to have a son in the Hall of Fame. But it's not because of me, it's not because of you. It's because you had a praying grandmother that cleaned toilets for $1.25 an hour. 
And because of her legacy, I expect, I demand you to take it to the next level. Thank you.